The landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortion. If they're going to start putting us in jail for speaking up for life, we need to squeak a little bit more than we're squeaking now. I had never been in a cell before. The witness was powerful. In everything that we're doing today is because of what God laid on their heart back in those early 80s. purpose of this um, of this video is we just we want to take people on a journey uh, through time. Tell us where you and Dick first felt this calling. Well, my name is Sandy Yuri. I married my high school sweetheart. We were married 61 years before he passed in the late 70s and 80s when we were raising our kids. We began to become very unhappy about the way our nation was em embracing the God is Dead movement. The first time I met Sandy Yuri was at, in a Bible study. Back then, there were probably 100 to 150 ladies attending every Thursday. And she would use that as an opportunity to say, you know, this culture's changing. <laughs> Things about the culture. And then she'd bring the Bible in to it and we would research. That led me to understand that there was this abortion issue. Then in 1983, there was a meeting Dick and I began um, really diving into the pro-life end of things. We developed uh, uh, a program that we could do. The consensus of our society no longer rests upon a Christian base, but upon a humanistic one. My husband and I went to this meeting to see the movie. As I sat there, it really impacted me. And then they stood up and they said, we're hoping to start this thing called the Crisis Pregnancy Center. If you're interested in coming to the initial meeting, there's a yellow pad up here. Come and sign up your name and phone number. Oh, me of little faith, ask God for 50 people. I said, Lord, would you, would you give us 50 people? And on the night that we had this meeting, he sent 500 people. Several people wanted to picket. Where is picketing going on? I want to be involved with that. But the main part of the 500 signed up and said, we want to start a pregnancy center. So that was already set up by the Holy Spirit. When the ministry began, of course, we had no money. One of the girls said, well, I think we should do a dinner. We advertised it in the churches. We called everybody. Hello, would you come? No, OK. My husband and I will buy your ticket. OK, I'll be there. That's how we got people to come to, <laughs> to come to the first benefit dinner. The big thing was we've got to get people educated. So many left convicted that the next year when we did a benefit dinner, I didn't have to buy a bunch of table, <laughs> tables and pay for people's tickets. People actually bought their own, <laughs> bought their own. We're putting out feelers and, and advertisements and church bulletins if you wanted to. <laughs> If you wanted to be the executive director, we called them, for a crisis pregnancy center, which nobody knew what a crisis pregnancy center was, and we were still figuring it out also. There was a man named Raul Reyes who had been on the steering committee, and he had all the gifts that we wanted, and he served us for 10 years. So that was the very, 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 very beginnings. A massive demonstration against abortion in St. Petersburg, the likes of which the city has never seen before. Hundreds of protesters gathered in front of a women's clinic today, and when they refused to leave, they were arrested. A movement called Operation Rescue came to the Pinellas County, Hillsborough County area. It was a national movement where people would choose or not choose to chain themselves to the, to the doors of abortion clinics so the abortion clinic could not open. I sat in front of the clinics, I didn't chain, sat in front of the clinics. There were, oh, so many layers of people all in front of the clinic. And they came from Hillsborough County, Pope County, Pinellas County. We sang songs. We sang Amazing Grace. We sang How Great Thou Art. And then the police arrived at a certain time. You are unwelcome and you're trespassing. And they came and they would, one on either side, they ask you to get up. If you didn't get up, they'd say, well, we have to carry you. When these officers were loading these women onto the carriers to take them out, 
These guys were crying. Six foot four guys. The witness was powerful. Dick and I were arrested for trespassing um, along with three busloads of people. He stuck us all, as many of us, in a cell. I had never been in a cell before. A great big, huge door cl closes behind everybody, and there you are, and now they're taking pictures of you, and now they're taking fingerprints on you, and now, you're, now you've got a record. So we get out there to uh, the jail, same thing. Those booking officers, they did not want to book these women into the jail. There were more at the Tampa one than there had been in St. Pete. And because people even came in from out of town, they didn't pick you up and carry you on th things. They grabbed you by the hand and, and stuck you into uh, these little vans. They crammed as many people into one of these things as you could possibly get. The drivers got out and locked the doors and there were no windows that you could open. And they left us sit in there in the hot sun, just crammed together for a couple of hours. A lot of people fainted, but the police got to um, send it loud and clear, we don't want you here. <laughs> we got the message. So we had 186 defendants, I believe was the number, in one location, in front of one judge, in front of one jury. These were people from all over who were so dedicated and they would persevere to the end. We the jury find as follows as to the defendant. The defendant was guilty of the offense of trespass on property. Clerk started going through the process and by the time she got to the third defendant, tears running down her face. You are making a witness by doing something that matters. As we started as just one pregnancy center, we've also expanded. And in these last 36 years, we've seen over 10,000 babies saved and rescued from abortion. We've also added our Passages of Hope ministry. If it hadn't been for the hearts of people, so many people, hundreds of people that work in the ministry, volunteers, hundreds of people that participate in the fundraisers, hundreds of people who do the Walk for Life, hundreds of people who pray. Just as our founders demonstrated courage in, in wanting to open up a center when it didn't exist, right now for us, we need to have that same courage. Like now is the time. Proverbs uh, 24 uh, says, rescue those being led away to slaughter. The unborn, we're in the middle of, of, of a holocaust on the unborn right now. There are, on average, right now in the United States, nearly one million abortions a year. In Florida, that number is 70,000. Specifically, within Pinellas and Hillsborough County, that number is nearly 10,000. That verse in Proverbs 24 goes on to say, don't say you weren't aware. We need people to actively step up and be a part of this movement. This is our time. It's time for us to stand up. It's time for us to step up. It's time for us to speak out. And it's time for us to choose courage. <laughs>